The pancreas is an important organ of the digestive system located deep in the upper part of the abdomen, behind the stomach and in front of the spine. The pancreas is called the hidden organ because of where it's located. The pancreas is divided into three main parts, the head, the body, and the tail. The pancreas has two main functions. One is to produce the digestive juices that make digestion possible for the absorption of many ingredients of your diet. And the second is to produce insulin, which is a hormone that controls your blood sugar. The pancreas can be affected by different diseases. The most common are pancreatitis, benign tumors, and malignant tumors. Acute pancreatitis occurs when the pancreas becomes quickly and severely inflamed. The major causes are heavy alcohol ingestion, gallstone or gallbladder disease, especially where the gallstones become lodged in the main bile duct next to the pancreas, trauma, accidents such as the upper abdomen hitting the steering wheel during a car accident. Certain drugs can produce the disorder, as can extremely high blood fat levels. Heredity seems to play a role since in some families the condition develops in several members of the family. Finally, there are the occasional cases that occur for unknown reasons. Symptoms of pancreatitis include upper abdomen and back pain, nausea, vomiting, feeling unwell, abdominal distension, and occasionally a fever. Most of the episodes of pancreatitis resolve on their own and do not cause any long-term problems. A tumor develops when a group of cells begin to divide and multiply in an uncontrolled way. After time, enough of these abnormal cells form a lump, which is called a growth or a tumor. Tumors can be either benign or malignant. The word cancer only applies to malignant tumors. Benign pancreatic tumors do not spread outside the pancreas. They may grow to a large size, but simply push on the area around it. These tumors can still cause symptoms, including abnormal blood sugar, where it's above or below normal, sweating, diarrhea, increased heartbeat, weight loss, nausea, pain, and problems with digesting your food. Malignant pancreatic tumors eat into and destroy healthy parts of the pancreas as they grow in size. These tumors can cause damage from the time they first start to grow. They can spread to other parts of your body by sending tumor cells through your blood or lymphatic system. They can spread to the liver, the lungs, or the lymph nodes around the pancreas and surrounding organs. These tumors have the tendency to grow into the nerves which run close to the pancreas, which can cause quite severe back pain. Pancreatic cancer usually occurs in the head of the pancreas with just one third of the cancers occurring in the rest of the pancreas. Pancreatic cancer is the 10th most common cancer in North America and Europe. Because the pancreas lies deep in the abdomen, a doctor performing an examination on a patient would not be able to feel a pancreatic tumor. Pancreatic cancer has no early warning signs and there are no effective screening tests for your doctor to recognize this problem when still in the early phase. As a result, pancreatic cancer rarely is discovered near the beginning of its growth. Many times the diagnosis is not made until the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Risk factors for pancreatic cancer are advanced age. Most of the pancreatic cancers occur in people in their 60s, 70s, and 80s. Race. Pancreatic cancer is more common in African Americans than in Caucasians. Smoking. Smokers develop pancreatic cancer more than twice to three times as often as non-smokers. Diet. Pancreatic cancer may be associated with high intakes of meat and fat. There is some data to suggest a diet low in fat and high in fruits and vegetables may actually decrease your risk of developing pancreatic cancer. Obesity. Medical factors include patients who have a history of chronic liver disease, chronic pancreatitis, Diabetes, which is the cause when the pancreas no longer produces enough insulin to keep the blood sugar within a normal range, and surgery to the upper digestive tract. Environmental factors. Long-term exposure to certain chemicals such as gasoline and related compounds, as well as certain insecticides, may increase the risk of developing cancer of the pancreas. Genetic predisposition. 10% of all people with pancreatic cancer have inherited it from a parent. Symptoms of pancreatic cancer may include abdominal and back pain. A common sign of advanced pancreatic cancer occurs when the tumor presses on organs and nerves around the pancreas. Fatigue and weakness. People with pancreatic cancer may feel very tired without any other symptom. Weight loss and loss of appetite. Very often patients affected by pancreatic cancer lose significant weight during the period before the tumor is found. This is caused by the fact that the cancer produces hormones that decrease their appetite. Jaundice is often the first sign of pancreatic cancer. 
The bile duct is the tube connecting the liver to the intestine, and it runs very close to the head of the pancreas. When the pancreatic tumor grows, it can block the bile duct, resulting in jaundice. This is a yellowing of the skin, especially in the face. Notice it as well in the eyes and along with dark urine and pale stool.